Dear viewers, Namaskar presenting you answers of week 12, assignment 12 of project management for managers. This is going to be the last video of this course for this duration. Hope you are preparing well for the examination scheduled on October 30. Wish you all the best for the examination. Question number 1. Which of the following is not purchase policy? The correct answer is sourcing. Employees purchase is the part of purchase policies. For example, if the industry is based on agriculture and employee has a farmland, then the employee may be supplier to the industry. Suppliers purchase is the most common type of purchase policies. The suppliers may be local, national or international. A speculative buying is generally done to avoid any price escalation of the item to be purchased question number two which of the following is not included in the prevention cost of quality the correct answer is product inspections question number three a product consists of 650 units of assembly that what is the probability that any specific unit of product is conforming if we go by three sigma three sigma means the probability of conforming is 99.73 percent if the product have 650 units of subassembly or parts then each units of 650 will have probability of conformity or conforming 99.73 hence the correct answer for the product will be 99.73 multiplied 99.73 multiplied 99.73 it will go to 650 times that is the point 9973 raised to the power 650 and the value is coming to be 17.25 question number four which of the following is not a dimension of quality there are total eight dimension of quality as per professor mk barua and perishability is not among them and hence this is the correct answer question number five which of the following is not an objective of scientific purchase the correct answer is performance evaluation performance evaluation is not part of purchasing cost reduction and maintain continuity in supply and standardization is part of scientific purchase objectives cost reduction is obvious maintain continuity in supply is done to have sufficient inventory all time and standardization improves the availability of the items to be purchased from multiple sources question number six which of the following term specify with the character i in dmac here D stands for define, M for measure, A for analyze, I for improve and C for control. And then the correct answer is improve. Question number seven. Which of the following cost consider as appraisal cost of quality? The correct answer is testing of materials. Question number eight. Which of the following is not a type of project? termination the correct answer is deprivation question number nine calculate dpmo or defect per million opportunity when a supplier is supplying a total of three lakhs units in a single day and observed 350 units have defected here one needs to calculate defect per million that is defect per lakh here we have uh, 350 defects in 3 lakhs so the correct value 
for defect in 10 lakh will be 1167 and that option is not available and hence the nearest option is 1000 and this is the correct answer. Question number 10, if you were a Six Sigma deployment leaders in the organization, what will be, what will you do first? As a deployment leader, the objective of the leader will be deployment of the Six Sigma as per the plan. Deployment is being done in the organization because the need has been felt. So the correct answer is develop a vision and mission for the organization and execute a Six Sigma deployment plan in the organization. Thanks for watching.